Hey guys, it's Gina Militia from GinaMilitia.com and today I want to show you a really quick demonstration on how JPEG compression affects the appearance of your image. So have you ever had a situation um, happen to you where you've shot an image like the one on the screen where you've got a beautiful blue sky and then you've gone to upload it to the web or print it and the background starts to look something like this where you end up with this uh, banding in the background that's caused by too much JPEG compression and so I'm going to show you how to avoid that happening so let's go into Lightroom so here's my image here on the screen and I've worked on it I'm happy with how it looks and now I want to export it so I've got my uh, drop down menu that comes here and I've got all my options I'm going to come down here to the file settings so I've selected a JPEG and then in the then the next option here I've got to choose from is quality so I've got from a hundred to zero this is the slider that affects the amount of compression that's going to be applied to your JPEG so if I was to export a, a whole series, so let's uh, go from uh, 100 to 80 to 50 and one at zero, you'll see that there's a huge difference uh, between uh, the, the amount of compression and how that final image will look. So I'll, let's jump over to Photoshop and I'll show you what I mean. So the JPEG exported with zero, so at the, the lowest quality setting, that's where you're going to get the banding. So basically when it's uh, reducing the size of the file, it's throwing out information of, you know, bits of color. And so this is why you get the stepping because you don't have all the color information available. So it's going to give you the lowest quality and you're going to get this banding in the shot. At a size of five, it's better, but you'll still notice that there is a, still a lot of banding and that's going to be particularly obvious if this was to go to print. So at five, it's still not good enough. When we go up to eight, you notice that the sky is actually looking pretty good. So at around eight, you're kind of starting to get optimum quality. Um, so it, it's looking pretty good. And at full size, of course, uh, th that a lot of the, the banding has disappeared and that's looking pretty good. So if you want to export your images in Lightroom to the optimum quality, choose a setting between 9 and 100, 92 and 100 and that will give you the best setting and if you're exporting for the web you can drop that down to around 8 between 80 and 90.